Today, we are going to see Namatovu Jovia, a girl who comes from a poor family back in the remote village and comes to Master Care's vocational training center. But before you watch this video, I'm asking you one thing. Please, would you like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Following Jovia, Jovia is one of the students that do tailoring at the Master Care's Vocational Center. She comes from this village and uh, comes from this household. My name is Naamatova Jovia from Kasambia. I wake up in the morning and greet my parents, after which I do all the domestic work as a must daily. Thereafter I shower and proceed to the Master Care's Vocational Skill Center for tailoring. She walks a distance of about uh, 15 minutes. She goes down and fetches water from the pond. The family needs that water for home use. After that, she walks a distance of about three miles from here to go and join her friends at the Master Care's Tailoring Center. This center helps girls like Jovia that have not had an opportunity to continue with formal education, to acquire a skill that they should be able to start their own small businesses, to be able to earn a living. What this helps them with is that they will not be at the mercy of the old men that may otherwise marry them simply because they need someone to provide for their day-to-day -day needs. The girls at the centre come from families like this, impoverished families, families that are unable to get what it takes to get a child through form education, to go to secondary school and to go to college or university. So such children who have not had the opportunity to do that will go and they marry off before they are even ready. They will go and engage in so many other bad things because they want their own personal needs provided for. My name is now Wada Grace, a citizen of Kersambia village. I was so astonished the day when Master Cares lifted up this, my child. I am the mother of Nama Tovi Jovia. The day they called me with good news that my child had been given a chance to study from the Master Care's vocational center. Verily, I was happy and thanked the Almighty for that great opportunity. I really didn't expect it because after Jovia's play I had no hope of her continuing with any kind of education since I had no money. And I was ready for us to stay home and do the farming. I pray that if my child gets through all the skill, God willing, she gets a workplace such that if she is given a machine, she starts off on tailoring. That is my humble prayer. I have three children. Jovia is regarded as my firstborn since the firstborn got lost so many years back and I doubt whether he lives. His father came for him from here claiming to have gone to buy clothes. He was seven years by then. I had left Kampala to here with a five-month Jovia. And my firstborn, but when their father came here, he only took him and left Jovia with me. 
So since then, it's been 17 years without seeing him, thus counting Jovia as my firstborn. I leave home at 7.30 a.m. and reach the center at 8 o'clock. I sometimes clean the place if it's dirty and thereafter I do any assignments as left by the instructor. I have been here for a period of seven months since the 2nd of September 2019. The good thing here is that we live in harmony with the students that joined earlier, they really do us well. Even the teachers themselves care about and handle the students in a very polite manner. This creates a good learning environment. I have learned how to sew clothes which I never knew before I joined Master Cares. I can now sew a variety of clothes such as shirts, dresses and much more. I am so proud to be a student at Master Care's vocational center because it has brought me from afar and many things it has done for me. I really thank the administration because I can't tell where I would have been. I loved so much the art and craft work as well as formal education. So when my mum failed to raise the high school tuition, she asked me to decide whether to do hairdressing or tailoring and I quickly chose to do tailoring. This was because tailoring is general to anybody, you can work on any gender and age which is not the case when dealing with hairdressing. In that sense a tailor earns much more than the hairdresser. I prayed to God so that I could merit which he heard and answered my prayer. I must be a fashion designer by the time I finish my studies with Master Cares. I must be able to produce as many types of clothes and for many people as I can. I really want to create very pleasant works from my skill as taught by my instructors. I can't wait for my graduation day and I receive a sewing machine to start up a business which will smoothen my life, the life of my parents with my brothers and sisters. I don't know what to pay Master Cares for the goodness they have shown me. They feed us all day and equip us with all the necessary machinery to see us through our studies. This is Master Cares Vocational Training Center where girls are not fortunate enough to continue with their secondary school education and those that drop out of school at primary level come to learn a skill in tailoring. At this centre, girls are trained for two years before they graduate. They are able to make informed choices and to decide for themselves who to marry. We have trainers at this centre that take our children through the two-year training before they graduate. We go out to the villages and we get the most vulnerable girls, those that do not have any opportunities at all. And the families that they come from are really, really very poor. We bring those ones on board. There are so many girls out there that would want to come over here. My name is Mugagadio and I am one of the instructors of Master Care's Vocational Center. We normally register students from unstable families, those from villages and have no support at all and then we help them with the skills that can later give them a life economically. The course takes two years of study and after that, these students are very ready and recommendable to do great work. After two years they can be sent anywhere and they can start working with no regrets.
There is a great challenge with Naomatovu Jovia given the village she comes from. There are some services she has to get of which she can't access them therein. She sometimes lives with different people that are nearer the institution so as to shorten the journey in rush hours but at times they are not around to help. That said, Jovia will be a good student because she loves what she is doing. She is focused on her dream. She joined with a purpose and she will fulfill it because she is some obedient student. By the time she completes the course, she will be a great person in tailoring. We have been equipped with the machines in the place by Master Cares and this is really good to us. We are though facing a challenge of power instability which calls for an emergency generator to run these machines in the absence of electricity. Therefore, it is our request we can partner with Master Cares to be able to bring, to revamp, to restore hope of girls like these ones who would otherwise miss out on an opportunity to be self-sustaining in this life. When you partner with us, you make this possible. You get together with these families to bring hope that was lost for their children. So please, if you want to work with us, will you please click on the link in the description below.